dangerous liquids, naked flames, explosives, and noxious substances are incredibly risky. If we need to vacate the building for any reason, the show will be stopped, and you will be asked to exit by the nearest door and gather at an assembly point outside the building. News just in. An explosion of highly flammable substances has recently occurred at Brainiac HQ. We have reason to believe the Brainiacs have escaped and are loose in this building. Do not approach them. I repeat, do not approach them. They are giddy, excited, and driven by an intention to entertain. This is not TV, and the future of science abuse is under threat.
SpongeBob, Shaggy, Scooby-Doo. They all know a thing or two about stuff you can run through and stuff you can't. Well, here at Brainiac HQ, we don't like to leave it down to our cartoon character friends. When there's stuff that needs to be run through, we like to do it for real. Take a look at this. Now this is a wood and metal frame built to withstand a high impact collision. I built this myself. It took me two weeks of hard graft. It's a combination of pine and pain. Believe me, this will not break, but the fun doesn't start until we add this. This is wallpaper. Tell us about it, Brainiac Ed. Paper is made from a cellulose pulp, derived from wood, rags, or grasses. It's used in packaging, printing, <laughs> even insulation. Now, it's strong, but it don't like getting wet. We're gonna find out if this is one of the things you can run through. Right in, I've got my crash helmet here. Health and safety first, very, very important. Honest. What are you thinking, Brainiac Ned? Okay, that brick print is quite distractive. Looks quite real. What's your plan? You're gonna run at it really hard. Genius! Right then, for this, I'm gonna need your help. Will you all help me with this? Yeah. You're gonna have to be a lot louder today. I said, will you all help me with this? Yeah. That's better. Now, if I get through, I want all of you to go absolutely crazy. But first of all, everybody, right to the back, at the side, and even you lot down the front here, put two hands up in the air. And, and we're going to start a hand clap that goes like this. If I get through, you go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Straight through it, that was nice and noisy. Now, I'm going to be honest, it's a bit distracting running up to something that looks like a brick wall, but. That was pretty easy to get through. Uh, let's take a closer look, shall we? Well, paper is measured by its bursting strength. That's why things like paper bags need to be really strong. Don't eat it. And you, just like Bugs Bunny, burst right through that wall. Excellent. Straight through wallpaper. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Let's find out if the next item is one of the things you can run through. Blimey. Plasterboard. This stuff is incredibly strong. In fact, it's the stuff walls are made of. It's made from a sheet of gypsum plaster, sandwiched between two thick sheets of paper. It's made up of about 75% calcium sulfate, 25% water. Now, in theory, it's built to withstand an incredible amount of force. What does that mean in English? Pretty hard. Brilliant. What do you think? Should I give this a go? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Yeah. All right, we'll do it. Remember, if I get through, you lot go absolutely crazy. Once again, everyone, two hands up in the air. And here we go. to come out of frame. Yeah, now listen, listen, it's only because it's moderately soluble, like I said, made up of 25% water, that you managed to get through it all. But d d don't try this at home. Your parents won't be amused with a child-sized hole in their kitchen walls. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Anyway, we got through Blasterboard. Are you all ready for one more? Yeah! Let's find out if the final item is one of the things you can run through. Uh oh, netting. Now, I know about this stuff. Netting can be made with any string-like material. It's designed to stretch and hold things. Lions, tigers, cartoon characters, even brainiacs. Now, this is the one I'm most worried about. Because it's designed to stretch, it could be quite hard to get through. What do you think? Can I give this a go? Yeah! Are you sure about this? Yeah! Yeah, I bet you are. Well, I'm not. So. Let's take a closer look. The crash mat's there, that should keep me safe. And I'm wearing this lovely yellow helmet. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Before we clap our hands, just to get me ready, pumped up, and in the mood for running at this netting, I'd like 
some really heavy rock music. I We're going to go back to your help. Remember, if I get through, go crazy. One last time, two hands in the air, and here we go! Oh, yes! 
People sit in them, make telephone calls, send emails, even sleep. All boring stuff, really, but not anymore. What's the best way to spin an office chair? Right then, over to you. OK, we're going to need 15 seconds on the clock, and we're going to need your help. The clock will start, Brainiac Ned will start to spin. Now, every time he passes this point, shout out, and we'll count how many he can do. Are you up for it? Yeah. Thor Park, are you up for it? Yeah. Right then, let's get the clock up. Ned, are you ready? Ready? Everybody, on my count. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> right, that's one. Now yeah. Come on! Three, we'll see. Come on, Ned, keep it going. Keep coming! Stop, 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 stop! How many is that? How many? Ten! Ten spins in 15 seconds! I mean, can we do better? Of course we can! But for that, we're gonna need some help! Bring on the Dark Lord of Bangs! The bringer of thrust! The father of flame and chaos, Brainiac Dave Vader! And what's he got there? CO2. You know, some people waste these putting out fires. Unbelievable. This is what they were born for, Brainiac Science Abuse. Oh, now they've fitted a bracket to the side of the chair. Now that ensures the canister sprays in one direction and one direction only. And um, I should mention, uh, you see that seatbelt there? That was taken from the ejector seat of a Harrier jump jet. Now that's a fact. The bloke on eBay told me. <laughs> How are we doing, Ned? Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you better ask the big guy, though, eh? Dave, you're health and safety, mate. Do we have a go? All right, clear the stage. And you lot, oh, I know you can be a lot louder. Shout out every time he passes this point. Are you ready? Yeah! Right, let's get the clock up. On my count. Three, two, one, go! Job. 
Now, when he pushes the red button, the rockets will ignite, and he's like, oh, no. We get six back on stage, quickly. So let's carry on. All right, team. Um, Bring that Ned is currently suffering motion sickness. Um, that's my big car sick, I suppose, but multiplied by 100. Um, his inner ear, the bit that looks after balance and equilibrium, has been spun into confusion. And that's having a negative effect on his lunch. <laughs> it's, it's not looking good, is it? I think it's all over. Um, you're about to see him lose bodily fluids from here, here, and here. <laughs> when they're the same, we can stop. But too many Easter eggs. What do you want to do? I'll tell you what, I'm ready, yeah? if they're ready. Well, are you ready? Yeah! Right, let's just do this, get the fuck up, for the last time, now as you can, ready! from our TV show are these, the gigantic air zookas. Now they work this way. Inside here is a giant bungee attached to a diaphragm. When you pull back on the diaphragm, it sucks the air in. When you let go, it pushes forward, forcing the air out. Uh, why don't you two have a go at this, see if you can hit some people in the front row. Yeah, right in the face, give it a go. Now, in the front, you might be able to feel that, but at the back, the sides, you won't be able to feel or see anything. Because at the moment, all we're doing is pushing a little bit of air around. However, these work really well if we add some smoke. You want to see them with some smoke in? Yeah. yeah, check this out. You fill it up to the top with smoke, you pull back, aim and fire! Check out! Look at that! That is so cool. Now, this was invented by Lieutenant Brian Jordan of the US Air Force. Those are vortex rings. Now, we're quite good at this. We're so good at this, in fact, we've got the world champion of the Air Zuka Challenge here with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for the world champion, Brainiac Day! Yeah, uh, believe it or not, this guy is a world champion, yeah. Okay, Dave, today uh, it's a challenge, the Air Zuka Challenge. You're gonna be playing for the Brainiac team, for the yellow team. You're gonna fire smoke rings into the audience, and Brainiac Ed, you're gonna catch the smoke rings through a hoop that we're gonna send you out there into the audience with, okay? But it is a challenge, so if only there was another team of people to operate the other Air Zuka, they could be the red team. Then we really would have a fight on our hands. It could be us, the Brainiacs, with the world champion against the red team who could be can't be you, you're a brainiac. What do you think? Any audience? Anyone? The audience. The audience. audience. You want to take on the brainiacs? You want to take on the brainiacs? Yeah. Bring it on, right? I need two noisy people to come up here. Go and find me two noisy people. Up here. Yeah. Bring them all up here, come on, that's brilliant, all three of you, why not? That's it, get yourself up here, fantastic. 
Uh, so these are the red team audience. These are the people that are playing for you. Okay, we've got very important jobs for you all. Now you two, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you out into the audience with one of these hoops, okay? You're gonna share one hoop and uh, you gotta capture as many smoke rings as possible, okay? Every smoke ring that goes through this hoop, I'll give you 10 points for. And if the audience cheer every time it goes through, We'll give them an extra 10 points. Yeah, why not, okay? So we'll see how you go. And you're obviously gonna be playing for us. Ed, you're gonna be captain for our team. Now, if you beat us, we've got a pretty cool prize for you, okay? Bring on the prize, bring on the prize. So the team that wins the Air Zuka Challenge will get to blow up this. Yes. <laughs> Once in a lifetime opportunity to blow up a microwave, okay? So if you beat us, you get to do that. So uh, let me have the red one, please, yeah? Okay, you two are gonna take that hoop there. Uh, and Ed, if you take that one, if you'd like to go down into the audience with them. And uh, you, sir, uh, you're gonna be uh, using this. Now, you are playing for the red team. I see you've got a nice pink top on, though. Right, you pull back, aim, and fire, just like that, all right? Hold on to it, but you are gonna need some smoke in it. So, can we have 40 seconds on the clock? Remember, cheer every time it goes through. Don't let us down, okay? Come and get some smoke, 40 seconds on the clock. Come on, Rick, that's it, come on, you'll never win like that. Here we go. <laughs> Face it this way. Yeah, give them a little bit of practice. Here we go. Right. Okay. Here we go. The time starts now. Here we go. Right. Cheer when it goes through. Now it's the time goes through. Yes. 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 Stage confirmation of the final results. The golden envelope will tell me who the winner is. Thank you, Brainiac Beaver. <laughs> right. Drum roll, please. I can tell you the winner of the Air Zuka Challenge with 160 points to minus 10 for cheating. <laughs> the winner is. microwave okay but just just bear with me one second okay because that does mean that uh, <laughs> Brainiac Dave is no longer the world champion Aww. come here Dave come on then. audience will you all point at Dave everyone point at him and call him a loser yeah. <laughs> don't you but just joking right you can help us with the microwave right you three make your way over here this is the important bit here's the TNT plunger don't press it yet I'm gonna give you a three second countdown. You're gonna press down on the plunger, the microwave will explode, and the audience will go crazy, okay? We're in position. Dave, if you'd like to sit on top of the microwave, this would be great fun, okay? My mate Dave, I'm joking. Come on, get over here. We, we need you for the next show. Uh, okay, get ready for this. Three second countdown, press down, microwave explodes, you go crazy. Ready? Fingers and ears. Three, two, one. Whoa! Now, red team, because you've helped us out with our um, explosion, Easter, uh, you're going to get your very own Easter egg as well. And also from the audience, as you leave the stage, big round of applause. Come on, come on this way. Sit, be careful, be, be careful. Come on now. Well, that's uh, you did a great job. Hey, that was uh, that was really fun. Have you all enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for looking after us. Just to let you know, you can follow us on Twitter at Brainiac Live. Make sure you do that. Uh, don't try this at home. Enjoy the rest of your day. The quickest way out of here is that way, and we'll meet you on Swarm. See you later. Bye.